I must go directly to the new impulse of negative interest rates in Europe. What does it signal to see the German two-year come down ever weaker, ever more negative? Well, I guess uh, that's uh, the confirmation of uh, an environment we are living in uh, of low interest rates for much longer than expected. Uh, and on the other side, a totally different type of volatility in the <clears throat> markets compared to the past. So low interest rates, low volatility or different volatility, this is forcing all banks to revise yes. their business model to adapt to ensure profitability. To ensure profitability, what is the immediate urgency for the European commercial banking system to finally clear itself of the challenges of the last 10 years? How urgent is it going into the summer of 2019? Well, I mean, a lot of job has been done. I mean, if I think about uh, banks in South of Europe uh, cleaning up the balance sheet of uh, non-performing loans, uh, this has been done uh, quite extensively. Uh, the restructuring in the retail sector, uh, cutting costs, investing in technology. I mean, this is a process. It's an ongoing process. Uh, we ourselves have launched a new initiative in this respect. And on the capital market uh, segment, focusing on the areas where we are more profitable. Uh, so selecting the businesses uh, where we are best at, where we are first in class, uh, it's very difficult to do everything uh, uh, as a capital market bank. So I think this restructuring is, is ongoing, and I think the results, we have seen that uh, uh, during the first quarter, and this will be consolidated in the next few quarters. Uh, Mr. Binismagi, good morning from London. I'm going to ask you an unfair question, but I know you're expecting it. You, it's Societe Generale in the past has said that you were possibly looking at consolidation. Are you looking at Commerce Bank now that they're not merging with Deutsche Bank? I mean, to be frank, uh, we are very much focused on our own plan and delivering on our plan. Uh, the first uh, quarter results were in line with that, even surprising markets on the uh, core tier one uh, ratio being above uh, expected. Uh, frankly, consolidation uh, issues will come at a later stage. And of course, like any bank, we are looking at all opportunities. But uh, 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 what is key uh, in Europe is first, what are the synergies uh, that you create uh, for investors when you uh, have a, a consolidation? As, and in particular, uh, what are regulators going to do? How are they going to react? Now, uh, the European Central Bank has said they, they would like to have more consolidation, but uh, when you look at the regulatory environment, it's still uh, very much fragmented, so we need some more actions. And I think we have uh, a lot of hope uh, uh, in the new commission. Hopefully, the new commission, mm -hmm. which will uh, mm -hmm. start its work during the summer, will have a vision of Europe uh, uh, which is a bit different uh, from the past. I mean, really pushing national regulators to, uh, to, to uniform and to reduce exceptions, to look for a capital market union, which is uh, real, not only on paper. So right. uh, I think a lot of things will develop over the coming year, so we'll discuss this uh, after that. Yeah, and I want to go back to the world economy in a second, but, you know, there are rumors about Société Générale needing to raise capital. Um, a lot of questions about what assets you will dispose of. Are you, for example, keeping some of the UK assets? How different will Société Générale be in the next 24 months? No, I think we have, uh, we have announced um, uh, um, to refocus, that we want to refocus on, on the businesses where we are good at, where we are the best in class. Uh, we will not raise capital. I mean, we are disposing a certain amount of assets, uh, and we have already done this, uh, in particular in, uh, uh, in, in, in Europe, uh, in, in the Balkans. Uh, we don't have any other uh, big plans. We want to cut costs. Uh, and we are doing this, we have a plan to do this, and this will ensure uh, return on equity, which is uh, in line with our costs or above our cost of, of equity. We don't, we don't see any other uh, capital issues. We, uh, the last number was 11 point, is where 11.7. Our target is mm -hmm. to be above 12% at the end of 2020. We are nearly there, 
So we don't see major issues from that point of view.